All right, guys, awesome day. We've got one of Australia's best drag strips all up to ourselves. We can do whatever we want. What are we gonna do? Drift it, mate. Let's let's yeah. um, let's go full sick. Drifting on the drag strip. Let's go drag racing, mate. No, 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 no. Anyone can go fast, but how well can you stop? Ah, yeah, you, yeah. yeah. I got yeah. a challenge. Good yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, what we'll do is we'll go to the shed, grab four completely different cars, run them parallel down the drag strip, and see how well they stop. Ah, oh, you just three drivers, mate. Oh, we're sure we can. Fourth one. Sure we can find one. All right, let's do it. All right, see ya. Oh, all right. You know, Rob set up a really difficult challenge and um, we've got a lot of variables in this experiment. One of them is we need to keep the cars all level heading down the track and uh, keep the speeds the same and it braking at exactly the same moment. So just trying to level myself off with this car beside me and then uh, we can hit the brakes at the same moment and see how we go. I think I'm going to win. Our winner here is the Proton Satria, 17 metre stop, all wheel disc brakes, big wide tyres, excellent stop by the driver, and the lightweight had a lot to do with it. Here is our Nissan 200SX, performance car with performance brakes, performance brake pads, cross drilled high performance brakes, ceramic brake pads, everything put into this car for drifting, and you'd had a 24 metre stop. Possibly the pads hadn't come up to temperature, wasn't the best stop by the driver. Our next one here is our old bomb, Toyota Celica, our first car simulator. No surprise, it, it fared worse than the other two cars. We're talking a 24 metre stop. And then our uh, Toyota Hilux four wheel drive, the big behemoth, 31 meters to stop this thing. So uh, 14 metre difference between the big four wheel drive and the Proton Satria small car at the same speed. Yet everyone sits that little bit above the speed limit and uh, you're not going to stop so well if you're in this big people carrier type four wheel drive cruising around on city streets. Keep that in mind next time you're on the road.